So uh, what is the patient's name? We don't know. Uh, and truth of it, she came to us with no information. We've got found no DNA records, no past evidence of her anywhere, really. Um, she's a nobody. How are you today? I see you've been showing signs of unrest. You've been distracted. Not concentrating on anything, not taking your meds. Not spoken since. You know when. You've been irritable. You've been sleeping. Scratching all over your walls. I'm going to show you a couple of images. This is a Rorschach test designed to provoke a response. I want you to tell me the first thing that comes into your head when you see these images. No? How about this one? And finally, about this one. We're going to be keeping an eye on you a lot more closely for the next couple of weeks. There's nothing more I have to say. Uh, how did she, did she check herself in? Or? We found her. Uh, we found her on the street, um, screaming and shouting, uh, scratching herself, dressed in rags, um, repeating the name Dave over and over again. And that's it. How has she developed since she's been here? For the first week or so she was fine, she was quiet and she kept herself to herself. She didn't speak, um, she kept herself. Um, and then about a day or two after her first visit from um, a friend or family member, we don't know who it was, um, we don't know if they were a family member, but after that she changed. Uh, and then it was about a week after that happened that the incident happened. Uh, yeah. Change in terms of physically or is it physically uh, and mentally. Um, obviously, people that have come here are mentally unwell, but she took that to a different level after this week. So, is there any, is there any plans for friends and family to come again? Or? There was, not anymore. Can you explain why? No, it's classified, I'm afraid. Oh, these were left for you. 